India, a country where the philosophy of Vasudheva Kutumbakam is at the heart of our ancient tradition, viewing ourselves as part of one united global family. Today, our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi's vision of Sabka Saath Sabka Vikas, development for all, is also a reflection of this spirit. In the recent times, India is emerging as a key player in development cooperation. The initiatives include trade and investment, technology transfer, health, infrastructure, finance through credit lines and grants, training and capacity building. India's development cooperation is impacting more than 63 countries across three continents today through majorly concessional lines of credits or LOCs. In multiple countries of Africa, India is an active partner for significant development projects. Tanzania has unclean, impure drinking water as one of its foremost challenges. Groundwater is often laced with toxic substances while mixed impurities in surface water like rivers makes the water unfit for drinking. There was no source of drinking water in our village. The water we had was impure and unhealthy. I had to go many miles every day to fetch water for my children to drink. The Upper Ruvu project an India-Tanzania partnership venture has given a new lease of life to people in this region. The government of Tanzania, I think the same with the vision for the government of India, is to change the life of the people by using water. The Upper Ovo project was developed to make sure that the people of Dar es Salaam should get a clean water. Through the project, 140,000 litres of clean drinking water is now being provided to nearly 700,000 people. Now, there's water round the clock in the taps for drinking, cooking and washing. I don't have to go anywhere. Now, my children have clean water for drinking and they are safe from diseases. More such projects to improve availability of drinking water are ongoing in several other countries of Africa. Skill development and knowledge building is another of India's interventions in Africa. In Dar es Salaam, the India-Tanzania Center of Excellence in ICT is such an initiative between India and Tanzania providing facilities like supercomputers to improve digital literacy among aspiring youth. Even me, I, I want to study hard to get a good job. I want to be an electronics engineer. The Zanzibar Barefoot College is another unique capacity building initiative. Here, rural women trained in India are now training other women as solar engineers, driving empowerment and community development. Under the International Solar Alliance, India is advancing use of solar energy through global capacity building. At the heart of this movement is the Barefoot College of Thelonia, India where women from countries all over the world are learning to install and maintain solar equipment in off-grid villages. Before I went to India, I was only a village woman. Today, I am a solar engineer. I teach other women how to make solar equipment. My India trip has shaped my identity and made me who I am today. Rwanda is one of Africa's fastest growing economies and India is a proud partner of this progress. 
the Nyaba Rungo Dam, an India-Rwanda joint initiative, is generating 25% of the country's total electricity, tapping the country's abundant natural resources. Before the dam was built, there was no electricity in our village and we lived in darkness. But after the construction of the dam, overnight I had electricity in my house. The entire village has electricity now. I never thought that a day would arrive when even after dark, our homes would have light. In this manner, India is enabling increased power capacity today in countries like Sudan, Zambia and Zimbabwe, bringing electricity to homes and industries. Closer home in Asia, the picturesque country of Sri Lanka is one of India's development collaboration partners. Lack of habitable housing is a major problem here, especially in the rural interiors. My name is Kumari. I have two children. My husband works out of town. I have been working in the Dunsinanti estate since the last 10 years. Me and my friends work here as tea pluckers. The last house we lived in was on the mountain slope. It was very difficult to live there, but we had no options. The roads were poor and there was no electricity. Every family had just one room. The Indian Housing Project, an India-Sri Lanka joint initiative, was launched to provide habitable, environment-friendly houses to the people. The beneficiaries were given direct responsibility of construction, along with personal ownership of the property. All over Sri Lanka, more than 60,000 people today own houses constructed under the Indian Housing Project. Ever since we have moved to this house, our lives have changed. It is our own house. Now we do not want to live anywhere else. This is our home and we are very happy with it. In Nepal, Uzbekistan and Afghanistan, housing and reconstruction projects implemented with India's assistance are providing more and more homes to people in these countries. Healthcare is another area of India's development interventions in Sri Lanka. The National Emergency Ambulance Service is one such collaboration in which ambulances contributed by India are bringing life-saving medical facilities to people in remote, inaccessible areas. Health is the biggest economic asset you can give to any society. The India for Humanity project is a health initiative where free artificial limbs or Jaipur foot are provided to disabled persons through camps organized in partner countries. In Afghanistan, the Afghan-India Friendship Dam or the Salma Dam is one of the longest and most significant India-Afghanistan collaboration initiatives. The dam is crucial to economic well-being in Afghanistan, irrigating 75,000 hectares of farmland and generating 42 megawatt of hydroelectricity. Other India-Afghan infrastructure projects include the rebuilding of the new Afghan parliament and restoration of the historic store palace in Kabul. Similar restoration projects in Myanmar, Cambodia and Vietnam are helping in preservation of historical and cultural heritage of these countries. In Bangladesh, the second Bhairab Titas rail bridge and the Meghna River shows India's commitment towards building a global environment of growth, reducing distances and bringing people closer. Strengthening the energy sector in Bhutan, the flagship 720 megawatt Mangadechu hydroelectric power project has set the scene for meteoric socio-economic growth. In the faraway Latin America, India is partnering closely with countries like Costa Rica, Chile and Honduras for capacity building and infrastructure. 
Guyana is another nation that is one of India's closest development partners. The National Cricket Stadium of Guyana, an India-Guyana collaboration project, has improved People Connect tremendously through a boost in international sporting events. Skill development and capacity building for foreign nationals is one of India's core development interventions. Higher education for international students is spearheaded through ITEC, India's flagship educational assistance program, offering world-class courses to foreign students at India's premier institutions. I came here to attend the Nano Fabrication Technology course because I am an engineering student and I've heard about this course from the Indian Institute of Science which is one of the most advanced one. I am very glad to get an opportunity to study here. On the humanitarian side, India has always been the first responder for her partner countries in case of natural disasters, reaching out instantly with relief and support. Today, India's development cooperation initiatives are strengthening ties between countries, building nations and connecting people, improving lives of the worldwide family that we all are a part of, ushering in a new dawn of support, partnership and growth. We are grateful to India for all the support. We are all part of one family. Thank you, India. Thank you, India.